Good evening, everybody. This is Diarmuid of Almost Cool. I'm here with Formlord. Hello. And Math Jazz. Hello. And we are continuing our Solar Arts playthrough. We are all expanding and warring and all general awesomeness is going on. Now, before we before we discuss anything else, let's unpause it so that some of us can get running. Okay. And all right. So last time, I believe you were about to uh, you were considering going to war with the Telenclerk Enclave. Yep. I have been feeling like I've been kind of on the verge of doing so for a little while. More so since I decided to uh, colonize the pristine jewel holy world. Are you on the right, um, for me, are you on the right internet connection? I should be. Because Math Jazz is slow again. Well, according to my computer, at least. Yeah, same with mine. Math, are you maybe on a different connection in your apart apartment? Not, not a chance. This, uh, this computer is wired into the router. Do you, wait, do you use a wired connection or a wireless connection? I used a, I use a wireless connection because... That's, wireless. That, that's not gonna take full advantage of the... I know, I know, but we've had no problems with it so far, and th this is... Not, a... not last, not the last session, at least. Which was the first session we had with the, uh, with him having to gigabit. It's not a big deal, it's just, I noticed it. I was curious, and I noticed it, I was like, oh. Huh. I All mean, right, we'll deal with it later. Hmm. I want to ask, but I don't want to ask. Special project complete. What do you want what's, your min what's your mineral monthly gain? Uh, 166. For me? 629. You're the one I was afraid of. That's with a minus 15%. 263. If I took if I took off that one uh, social welfare program, it jumps up to 769. Oh. Oh. <laughs> as awesome as that is, oh. <laughs> yeah. So at the moment, I think if I am going to declare war on them this time, I'm waiting until the battleships that I'm building have finished. Probably a good idea. Um. I was going to say I'm, I I want to go check something real quick and then I was going to be right back but I just noticed that one of my assigned ships is like at 90 and was at 98% on it in, an investigation and I want to stick around and make sure everything goes well with that mm, probably a good idea gain full survey on a distant system okay what is this distant system oh the Dressel system Yay. Uh, what the heck? Why are those guys? Um. Uh, anyways, uh, anyway, yeah, now that that's done, I will be back in a, I'll be back in a moment. You can keep the game going. It should be fine. Of course. I'm considering going to war with the Iraq Confederation just because I want to Take that planet so I that so I can take that one system that's blocking my way to the Rufari, then take on the Rufari. Okay. I can get behind that. Because I should be able to beat both of them, but I don't know at the same time. Complete. All right. Well, I I jump in with you. What happened? We're I we're thinking of taking out the Yabrak Confederation. If the two of you really want to go after them. I... How about this, Swarmy? You take you take all those plants up there. I'll take the one down here, and that way, when we both win, we get what we want. Uh, two I'm separate not... wars with the same person. I'll take the one. I'll take. I'll just go to war and only declare this one planet mine. And you'll go go up there and declare all the and try and take all those plants up there. That's his. Those are all right next to Math Jazz. Yeah, I want the one that's down below me. So yeah, I but why are you why are you saying that I should get those planets? And they're all... No, I, I was talking to Math Jazz. 
Oh. Oh, I thought you were talking to. Yeah, you said my. Yeah, more. you said you said Stormy. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Matt. Yeah, if you guys want to go after that, that's fine. I won't stop you, but that way you you get those you get all those extra point you get all those extra systems up there, and I get the main one I want, so I have that direct access to the repository. I am okay with that. All right, then I will declare war on the one I want. Then you just take the rest. Or, or what you could do is that you can is when you actually go to the war demands, you can invite an attacker. You can click the. So when you click declare war, you go to invite attacker. You tag someone in on that. But then you click the done, not the confirm button, the done button, and then you can drag the war goals into the various persons. For example, you can take the uh, planets in the SIPEX system and put it under your name, and then you can put all the other planets under Math Jazz's name. So you'd still be in the war together, but you'd sp both get what you want. Hmm. Okay, now let's see. Declare war. Click the invite attackers. Mm-hmm. You, uh, Menjetti. Then you click the done, not the confirm button, the done button. And then you can drag the uh, various planets in there. They give the name of the planet, and then they give the system they are in. So, the planet that you are... And you can also type in a filter. So, for example, if you want all planets in the SIPEX system, you just type it in, and then you can drag it into your... And you can drag it under either any person that you're inviting into the war. Okay, do you want all the other systems? Which systems do you want? Do you think we could knock them out in one shot? We could probably, we could probably, yeah. Might just, be able to. Just, you gotta make sure that you're not dragging Rufari planets into that, because they would, because since they are, uh, since the defensive, since they have the defensive pact, they are gonna be dragged in there, and you don't wanna accidentally drag some of their planets in there if you're just focusing on getting the Abrak planets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they're, because they're uh, defensive pact, they... Or whatever the term is, uh, vassal, whatever. Uh, well, the defensive pack they also have the vassals. Um, so that's why I'd say you'd probably want to filter the planets by their system names for all the for the various um, Yabrak planets. Ah, oh, they should they should make this a little easier, but whatever. It's only this complicated. I mean, to filter to filter them. I mean, it's literally you just type in the the name of the planet or the system. Oh god. You don't have to go looking for just the planet name. You can also put it. You can put in the system name, and it works. Okay, that one is yours. Oh. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, I got another ocean world ready to colonize, and no colony ships. Am I might at least building that one? That one is yours. I am. Okay. Here we go. Hey, math. I got a quick question for you. Yeah. So since. I mean, this is more of a... I'm trying to figure out the answer quickly, because I... I mean, the fact that we're so slow at the moment really bugs me. Um... How did... Is... Where... It... Isn't your router, like, out in the outer room? And my computer is as well. Okay, so you're out in the outer room at the moment. And mm -hmm. how do you keep your uh, roommates from accidentally... Doing... Like, accidentally speaking over in the video? Um, I use a noise gate on that's my the, microphone. That's the entire thing? Just a noise gate? Pretty much. That, and if they come into the front room, then I wave my hands and gesticulate to try and... Gesticulate. Yeah. Uh. Like, shh. Okay, got that planet. That should be a I think that's all of them. Okay, I got Arrakis, Nunki, Yabar, Roskin. Right. Oh, I think I forgot that one. Remember, also the war goal has to be under a hundred. If it breaches, if it breaches one hundred, then that means you're gonna have to do multiple wars. Anomaly found. That means for you to get it, you're gonna Now, now, are you gonna help us with this war? At the moment... Uh... Only if you can- only if you guys can fit in a humiliation war goal for me. I- otherwise, I have- I don't really- I mean, I kinda wanna prepare to fight the- the, uh, Fallen Empire. 
Yeah, I think that we should do the Yabrak, and as soon as it's over, we should immediately go after the Fallen Empire. Yeah. And the reason I think the Yabrak first is then it'll give us, like, an actual idea of how ready we are for the Telekur. Like, if we can't take out the Yabrak when they're being backed by the Rafari, then we're not going to have any chance against the Telekur, you know? The problem is that is that for me, it's literally... They are both path they both have pathetic fleet powers t compared to me. So, if I jumped in on this war, it's a definite win. They are both... Con they, the Yabrak are considered pathetic, and the Rufari are considered inferior to me. So, if I jumped in oh. on this war... We would definitely. It, it's we have all the advantages. I, it, I I can see it being a measure for you guys, but for me, I I mean the last war they were they haven't they probably haven't recovered completely recovered from the last war. Okay, well then then having you here will mean the war will go faster, and then we can help you faster against the Telekur, or we can go against the Telekur first. I don't particularly care, but. Um... In fact, I might like to go against the Talakur first because that's not next to me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if it goes if it goes pear shaped, then it's going to be you that suffers all of the border damage. Yeah. But I th I think that that we should instead of like oh two against this group and one against that group, I think just all three of us attack one thing and then all three of us attack the next thing and you know rather than trying to decide who goes against what and when just like okay this is the next target everyone over here stomp them move to the next one stomp them and keep going yeah the biggest reason why i agree with the telecar enclave first is because with that it opens up a path for us to go around the uh, sun britain assembly if we want to try to explore lower for now because they've been expanding as well all right well let's well then do we want to attack them first Let's go against the Telekur Enclave. All right. Then and that'll let me that'll let me look at Tigra system, which is something that I've wanted to do for thirty episodes now. <laughs> All right, uh, swarming set for war. Okay. So as I said, I don't think that I will actually take on their uh, entire um, their entire empire in one shot. Because then let's just take let's then let's just take a, let's see if we can win them enough to take a couple of their border planets. Then see if we can finish off the rest. Okay, so I'm think so I'm thinking systems. five plant five systems ought to be uh, a decent one. Plus, I'm adding the the humiliate goal because that I I, t I have a tendency to need a lot of influence, and yeah, I guess I'll invite you idea. guys. You guess you'll invite us. Well. I, I almost forgot to do that, is what I was doing. Oh, hey, I only need one jump to get to the wormhole station that's on the border of their of all their systems. And I could jump straight into their homeworld system with that. Holy crap. Are they making armies anywhere? Oh, yeah, I'm making a bunch of psionic armies on my homeworld. <laughs> Yeah, right now I'm working on impulse thrusters, um, yeah. empire okay. capital complexes, and tech lances. I have voted yes to go to war. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it and let the let the game decide to catch up for a moment. There's nothing in my apart in my apartment that's actually causing us. Um... There we go. We showed up. The righteous entendant. I guess I never got rid of the name. Except for that we're not actually in some sort of alliance or whatnot. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, I kind of want to see what they're... They don't have anything at the moment. But yeah, has we're... He, has he moved at all to, to I, catch up to us? I, I, the Telecar Enclave? No, no, Matt. Nah. What? No, I paused. Oh, there it, we so. go. There, yeah. All of a sudden, it wasn't moving yet. It was sitting at twelve, and usually, it's, I see it catch up. All right, I've already started building my fleet over. So, yeah, if my you want to start the party, and I'll see if I can help you beat them up. Yeah, my my fleet's got to leave. Got to got to um catch a wormhole out of the take a wormhole out of the system first. 
My biggest worry is how quickly their fleets will go and where and where they'll go. Okay, which planet are we gonna? Which one are we gonna try to take first? I'm gonna jump straight to their home world. Just say screw it and go straight, straight for their core. That'll get us the most war goal, mo mo most points towards the war goal. Uh, Fremora. Yeah. Yeah. That is the target. All right, I'm gonna head there as well. It'll take me longer, of course, but I'll head there. Mm -hmm. If you want to stop and hit one of the border plaids instead first, that's that should be fine. We'll see how it goes by the time I get there, because you guys will definitely get there quicker. Yeah. My travel is all is all around a little better, but you guys move twice. As, you guys move three times as fast. Uh, we move we move in much larger much larger amounts per jump, but you but your jump charge up and where you can move from a system is much better than ours. Yeah, that's why the jump drive is awesome. Yeah, the only thing about the jump drive that isn't equal to like the best of everything is the fact that is that the jump drive still has to be from the edge of a system. Uh, yeah. While the hyper lanes travel doesn't. They could they could jump to a different system from anywhere. That's awesome. I love that. How many months do you have tacking on ah. by the way? Uh, it's currently sitting at 39. By the way, they one of their fleets just jumped into a... Just jumped. It's entering orbit of Pristine Jewel. It's one ship. One of their Avatar-class battleships. It could take on the space station that's in orbit there. Totally by itself. It probably won't help, but... I'll send my fleet to, to towards it. If you guys happen to beat me, whatever, you know? At least at least I'll be heading to somewhere. I'm gonna shift my ships to jump there. Ugh. Dang it, I was hope I, I I'm wondering why it, let me let me see if I can let me see if there's something I can do on my computer real quick. Let me just I mean, it probably won't help, but uh Hmm. Nope, that did nothing I can do with that and I don't want to do anything in the middle of the recording. Gosh dang it. I suppose since we should be nearing the end. Really? We have 13 minutes. Oh, wow. I thought we were a little farther along. I was going to say. Wait, what? So, this... Okay. Oh. This battle cruiser is only a 1.1k. Yeah, but the problem is that it doesn't... That doesn't take into effect the range. I mean, it where from where it sh already hit shot my space station from where it's at. Yeah, wow. I think either that or it's that my space station is still being built. It says it's in range. It's in range to attack supposedly. Okay, we've hit some extreme. By the way, that's it's, planet it's being taken. It's starting. taking damage. No, it's still being built. It's still it's not actually been finished built yet. It's got another month of construction left. I'm looking at the battle thing and it says that neither shot has neither side has fired a shot. I'm going to pause the game for a moment see how long it takes math to catch up. Do, 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 and <laughs> math is caught up according to my computer. Yeah, mine doesn't. Mine has to move, but the moment you unpause it, it does it. If there's any point to me getting getting in those plants, I'd say, hey, I want that one. You know. <laughs> But you're the biggest one because it's right along the complete borders of your area. To it makes more sense for you. Yeah, that was that was even before I colonized a few planets on this arm. I was all up against them, and then I did colonize some planets on this arm.
Yeah, see, we haven't even seen more than just this one battle cruiser. I mean, granted, the, s the speed is really slow, but we haven't even well, seen. Well, I think it's. Po I th we're not really within too much sensor range of their area. Yeah, I know, but still. To remember, that's probably just the first wave. We just need. We need to get closer. I'm just surprised that they've only that they've that their first ship that their first fleet was only one ship. <laughs> Scout, it makes sense. Eighty, eighty-one. Dude, I'm just watching the percentage of my jump. Ugh. Of your pristine jewel spaceport. Uh, no, that one. That one's almost. It's almost finished. Oh, they they fired a shot. They did four hundred damage to it in one shot. That's not bad. Oh. Oh no, not one shot. They've done that's that was apparently multiple shots, but they've hit every shot they fired so far. Yeah, it's already going to die. Hey, at least you're in the system. Yep, I'm now in the system with my fleet that is technically over 50k. Now that's a fleet. Yep. Feels like more like a swarm. <laughs> Um, pun not intended. Yeah, they finished off. Oh, no, they didn't finish it off. They, uh, they ran. <coughs> yeah, they ran far. We're... Far enough that we can't see them. Well, I mean, Wait. if the, the ship ran once my fleet got into the system. They went back to their home world. Oh, they did? How do you, how, how do yeah. you know? Because I was looking at them, like I had them selected when they jumped, and then I hit the follow button. Oh. And it took me to the home world. Cool. Yeah, I'm at Ishnor right now. I'm one, two, three, four, five. Six jumps till I'm right till they're till I'm right near their home system. Now I just need to get over. I just need to jump. I just need to jump. The wedges, the 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 system next door, and then I can jump. I believe I can jump anywhere in their empire at this from that I'm system. I'm just hoping that their fleets are separated into smaller groups. They are. They probably are, but. Which means it. Which means we could. Which means me and Matt Jazz could take them easier. I mean, if they were all into one giant fleet like all of ours are, then yeah, we'd be in trouble. But taking them off ones and twos is not so bad. Oh yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna be in single ship groups. They're mo most likely gonna be in twenty five k groups for the most part. They also have one of the. Uh... One of the hardest army types to beat. Really? Yes. Which means we're probably going to need overwhelming numbers to beat them on the ground as well. Oh, well, why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you just got declared a rival. Yep. Also, uh, one of their fleets just jumped into your system, Gear Mode. Yeah, I just know. So. It's the same ship. It's going after the planet in that system. Well, not much I can do, so I'm just gonna send a. I'm just gonna send my fleet after it. Yeah, that's fine. It might be better actually if you guys are reactive for a little while, or at least you're maybe maybe. System uh. survey complete. I'm trying to think if it'd be better if just if we should have just one reactive person, or if we should have a.
personally, I would say between the three of us, the easy well, you're going to be the main force one ward. Um, mm. The biggest reason I say match us would be the easy, next best choice to be the reactive group is because because the um, faster travel, the bigger leaps, whatever you know. True. Oh, you're you're sending your fleet down to take him on, Math. Yeah, I redirected down there. To be honest, I can't reach the middle of the Telecar Enclave. I can only hit border planets because I don't have wormholes that are close enough. That's still that's still will lower the low, their war score, so it's a good idea. Yeah, I'm 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 aiming for uh, the three planets at the top: their homeworld and the Elther system. So all the so all so the top five systems the, the systems that are on the on the north part of their empire. <laughs> yeah, I can reach Spista, Rana, and Navi, but I can't reach capital. That should be fine. I'm about to put another wormhole generator um, in the, what's it called, the Rubiz system. So I should be able to get closer. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, there's the Airmood's fleet. The same system as mine. Yeah. On my way to pass the Irim. Yep, you'll be leaving the system before I will. But I'll probably still get there before you. Probably. Shut up. I'm at 30% for a jump. I can't tell because all it says is attacking first ex extra orbital cores. Oh, you're going after your, the fleet that's attacking your system. Uh, yeah. Even though Math Jazz's fleet is also on it? Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. I thought, I thought you meant something else. No, Math Jazz's fleet has redirected to go attack the... Go okay, attack. Then, I'll just, then I'll head to Rana. For the moment, at least. Okay. Just remember, guys, be ready to run if it looks like the if it looks like you're about. The be, the thing is with the, with the fallen empires, the best the best way to fight them is actually to jump in on top of them. Whoa. What? Research complete. Uh, they have another ship going in into my territory, and again, it's another individual ship. Huh. Yeah, this is the third of just these. No, the second, One because that, the ship that you're currently going after, Math, was the one that went after me. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, you're right. It's the same fleet name. Yep. Okay. This is a, this is the second one that's going after me. It's going into the Zawad system. Where's the... That's going, why did it have to jump up there to get there? Where's Zawad? Zawad is... It's farther down. It's actually south of their position. There's a big old gap between the system that the, that that ship is in and where Zawad is. Okay, then I'll head to Zawad. I'll try and cut it off. Okay. Hopefully, before it causes you too much damage. It should be fine. There's not. There's a few mineral stations and a and a single planet in there, but it should be relatively all right. And my fleet's about to jump into their home world into their homeworld system. At it. I'm at eighty percent. Yeah, I can see your wormhole opening. Yeah, it 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 sits there like that for a while. Oh, someone is jumping. Who is jumping into that system? What system? Oh, I'm I'm like, what ship is jumping into the system that our fleets are in? Because there was a wormhole exit. Uh, it looks like I've got some sh either I've got some ships coming through or. Oh no, one of Matt Jazz's ships is going is jumping into the system. That's what's going on. Oh, jumping into the wet G uh, wettage yeah. system. Yeah, your one of your construction ships. Hostile yeah. Engaged. Oh, holy crap! I just jumped in right on top of a military station. Situation. Holy crap! I um. Oh, hey! I found one of their main fleets. It's only at ten k. That's not too bad. Oh, they I have a ship. Everything there easily enough. Yeah, I just have to be. Careful because most of them will have uh Tachyon, probably more than likely. Yep. Not that. Stop. Um fleet stance. 
back. Yeah, that should. Yeah, they have jump drives. Yeah. Because he just I, literally. I have a jump walk. drive. No, you have. We have warp. We have a uh, wormhole drives. No, 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 I have a jump drive. Ha ha ha! You're hilarious. Anyway, uh, it is that time again. Alrighty, I'll pause it. By the way, the air mood. If you had kept going, one of their fleets was actually going to the Rana system. Whatever. Do you want me to? Do you want me to head back? I will. No, my fleet's in their home system, so it would, it would be fine. Uh, I thought I paused it. You did. Uh, someone unpaused it. I did. It's the, never unpaused for me. It never paused for me. I don't we'll think. Give it a moment. It's paused now. I think we're just waiting for math to hit, to hit day 27 of the month. I just did. Okay. Yep. So, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we have now started fighting a fallen empire, which looks to be in much worse shape than we thought. Although they have a lot of military stations, it looks like their fleets are not nearly in as good a shape as, as we would have thought. And so... Do you so, think that they might have been attacked by someone else first? I don't think I don't recall seeing any notes about it. We see notes about wars we, you know, with people we've encountered. Yeah, yeah, but I, I just, and I don't think anyone would have been stupid enough to go after them early on. I don't know. I don't know how they could, how their fleets are so much weaker than, than the others. Weird. Yeah, really. But that. Uh, well, that. Well, it would sense if some of their fleets were in other in some of their other worlds like maybe um mirs uh, and uh, Ethir. well i could see another one of their systems and they don't have enough they don't have any fleets in that system yeah i don't know it just looks like they're, they're rather empty huh odd yeah all right well let's continue finishing this off yeah uh the air mood you're the one who you're the one who's oh yeah of course of course <laughs> sorry well everyone i hope you enjoyed this a wonderful episode of the beginning of the war and well we'll see you all next time bye bye see ya